Hello everyone, my name is Kingsley and I'm a technical writer at Infura. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to migrate your DAP from Gurley testnet to the Sepolia testnet. In case you don't already know, in 2022, it was announced that the Gurley testnet would be deprecated in Q1 of 2023, but support would continue to be available through Q4 of 2023. DAP developers are advised to use the Sepolia testnet going forward, which is why I'm going to be showing you how you can migrate your DAP from the Gurley testnet to the Sepolia testnet. For this demonstration, I am going to be using this test project that was created using the MetaCoin Truffle box. It already comes with a Truffle configuration file that includes a Gurley testnet configuration for deployment. And it also includes a .env file that obviously includes the secret recovery phrase for my Metamax wallet, as well as the um, Infura project ID for the Gurley deployment. I'm going to be replacing this particular project ID with a new project ID. So to generate a new project ID that would um, allow me to deploy to the Sepolia testnet, I'll head to Infura, to my Infura dashboard. Um, if you don't already have an account on Infura, you should definitely create an account. There's obviously a free tier where you can play around with stuff without necessarily paying. So on my Infura dashboard, I'll create a new project and I'll call it, simply call it migration and create this project to get access to my Infura key. Once I do that, click on the endpoints tab, then I can see my API key. Head over to my .env file, update this API key, and then head to the endpoints, click on Ethereum mainnet, select the Sepolia testnet um, from the dropdown, and copy this URL. Now I'll head back to the Truffle configuration file, and create a new network option and call it Sepolia. I just copy over the configuration from a different screen to save time. Um, paste. If you don't already have some Sepolia heat for your migration, then you should definitely head to the Infura Sepolia testnet file set. From your dashboard, there's a link that links directly, you know, from the Truffle dashboard, or you can just type it out. Here, you're required to provide your Ethereum wallet address in order to receive 0.5 ETH. So I already did it. I have some testnet ETH on my wallet right now, so I, I won't, I won't be doing that anymore. So great. So with those sorted, with the testnet ETH sorted and the Sepolia network configuration added to our Truffle configuration file, the next thing I want to do is to run the Truffle migrate command. Dash dash network. Sepolia. Hit enter and watch my contract get migrated to the Sepolia testnet. Cool. Deployment just got completed, and I'm going to double check that this contract has been deployed by copying the contract address and heading to Etherscan and pasting the contract address on the search bar to verify that this contract has been successfully migrated. Great, I can see that this contract is one minute old. So yeah, that was successful. So that's it guys, you successfully migrated your smart contract from the Gurley testnet to the Sepolia testnet. I am going to show you one more trick that makes it even faster to deploy to the Sepolia testnet without necessarily needing to copy out your secret recovery phrase. So it's called the Truffle dashboard. To be able to use this um, tool, you're going to have to install the Truffle command line interface on your machine. I already have that installed, but if you want to install that, you can simply run npm install dash global Truffle, and you will have Truffle installed on your PC. So the Truffle CLI comes bundled with the Truffle dashboard. Truffle dashboard is essentially a tool that connects seamlessly with your Metamask wallet, allowing you to deploy smart contracts to whatever network you choose to without necessarily exposing your secret recovery phrase. Because previously we had to copy out our recovery phrase and place them in a .env file. With the Truffle dashboard, you won't be needing to do that. So once you have Truffle installed on your computer, you can simply run the command Truffle dashboard. So once you run that command, it's going to bring you to this Truffle dashboard screen. I've been using the Truffle dashboard for a while now, so it's automatically picking up my Metamax um, connection. If it's your first time, you're going to have to connect your Metamax wallet and select the network option you want to deploy to. So those are already set for me because like I said, I've been using it for a while now. So with the Truffle dashboard connected, all I need to do is to head to my Truffle um, 
projects and run the command truffle migrate dash dash network um, dashboard notice that i currently do not have any network configuration called dashboard right but because i have the truffle dashboard running on a different command line it's going to be able to like um, connect to the truffle dashboard using the ethereum network that is currently you know connected on the truffle dashboard which is sepolia i can obviously go ahead and change this to points to a different network by just switching network here but that's not what i want to do so once i hit on this command truffle migrate dash dash network dashboard it begins to compile my contract and deploy to the selected network in this case sepolia testnet so once that command is run you'd have to head back to the truffle dashboard and reject or accept this particular request i'm going to confirm this request my wallet is going to pop up um, confirm as well the convert lead library is going to get deployed so once that convert lib library has been deployed there's going to be a second request to deploy the metacoin smart contract head back to my truffle dashboard confirm that particular request and um, watch it get deployed so great my contract has been deployed to the sepolia testnet so this is an easy way to deploy contracts to um, ethereum mainnet or testnets without necessarily needing to copy out your recovery phrase so the truffle dashboard uses infura by default but in case you have a different rpc that you want to connect to you can obviously throw that in there there's a documentation you can head to the truffle website to look that up on how to you know update the settings for the truffle dashboard so that's it guys how to migrate your dap from the goalie testnet to the sapolia testnet until next time see ya